or I don't think this one is the pointer, this one is the address plus this. Well, you'll see in a second, it shows here. Sheet engine is, is really awesome. So this is the first pointer, this is the second pointer, and this is the address. This is how it goes. You can tell by the by the brackets that this one's pointer and by the the uh, what's it called the arrow. The arrow shows that it's also pointing to something, right? P arrow right here also. So yeah, we wanna uh, take a picture of that by pressing print on our keyboard, so I can rebuild this uh, just to show you how we can also access and how we can access um, very easily in a programming language. There's also something for multi-level pointers, but you can, yeah, the functionality, you'll get it in a sec. So imagine we don't have this uh, compl as complicated um, pointer with three levels. We just go like we know. So the first one would be thread stack plus or say minus 300 because this is our start right so we get this uh, number and we can compare here if it's correct or not so this is our weird minus 300 here thread stack one this is the first step when we do this we get this right and we do also have it here so this is what we just got now we wanna we wanna add another one and we can compare here that we're doing everything right. We go just what it says here. We go what we just got. It might sound complicated, but we did this and we got this. Obviously, you can see here we have it. Now we want to type this plus 88. And we should get the next step, this one. So it's zero, but don't care about that. Add the next one. And you can tell it's this one plus 40, 44, 8. It's also zero, but we only care about this. At the end, we get this one. And this might be changing because it's an address and this is a pointer. And this one also might be changing, but the offsets or the the adds we do, the calculation, are always right. So we take what we just got and say this is a variable, not what we have here, but this is a variable. Because this one is always always the same and the distance is also always the same. So I'm going to bring back what I just had, but I can't. 24E001. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, that was a zero too much, I guess. Yeah. And finally, we can put it in here. Or we have to put it, I think. Uh, what we just got. 2494268. No? Oh, right, because... This one changed already what happened here. Because it's a negative number. Uh, yeah, let's restart here. And you'll see that these don't work, but the first one works because uh, this changed. We go here and we have to repeat the step and hope to be faster this time. See, it's now like this. And did I do this? correctly I hope two four nine zero zero one zero and this one I think it's the same right or not yep it's not two four 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 two six eight okay it's getting me a zero that's weird did I mess something up it's getting me this all right it's like this um, I added this part but I was supposed to do the last part the the these this one I, I just I was just retarded right here so yeah this gets me this and this is how we build up obviously the offsets don't change every time the pointers or the second level and third level pointer changes but the first one we get uh, from the thread stack minus 300 is always 
Yeah, the thread stack minus 300 is always the same. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, basically we don't need anything to be the same. After the thread stack minus 300, we get our first pointer, then we get the second one, and then we get the third one. Because the offsets don't change, right? I hope you got that. And yeah, this is basically how you do it. And bigger games could also have multi-level pointers, or they could have just one if you're lucky. I believe CSGO uh, just has one. Well, obviously it has one because we only change... No, wait. Does it or does it? I don't know. Never really looking at uh, CSGO in cheat engine, so I don't really know. Anyways, you get the point. So, let's sum it up. We search for, for example, health or something we can change because it, it helps us uh, finding it. We find the address, make a pointer scan. Once again, how to make a pointer scan. Right click on what we got, uh, the health address for example, pointer scan for it. And then we input the uh, address we want to find. Then we do the first pointer scan, close the game and rescan in the same table. So we don't want to get a new uh, 2 million amount of pointers. We want to get the... Uh, we want to get from the same amount what is still pointing at the right address. And then we repeat this until we get got a number we can work with. We find the lowest uh, level pointer and then we could go into programming and build up the address or just directly at the multi-level pointer. So yeah, this is how we do. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Peace out.